Hey guys, let's talk about the Marvel, the Marvel drop has ended incredibly poorly. Obviously, Marvel is a huge IP. But time and time again, you would think that Magic the Gathering, I mean, again, there are financial incentives to make sure this is a pleasant experience and to sell as much product as possible, but they can't do that. Fans express frustration as MTG. X Marvel Secret Lair crashes site due to overwhelming demand. Doesn't help that it was released during the annual stock meeting that Wizards knew this drop would sell out, so they expected this, or at least expected people would be complaining about missing out, regardless of the main site issues that ha has happened. The people making money off this, investors, corporate scalpers, have to be laughing at us at this point, and people will keep buying it. At the end of the day, that's the biggest point of this story for, for all the complaining we did last week. The news about UB was expanding. The demand still crashed the website. I'm unhappy with the amount of UB product taking up the release calendar, but in the grand scheme of things, Reddit remains a very narrow slice of the player base. So on Reddit, they're complaining like there is no tomorrow. This is pretty... Uh, you know, I mean, Universe Beyond, right? Universe Beyond is uh, sold out. And it, it continues to be sold out. Pretty much the entire Marvel Secret Lair drop is sold out using a mega thread for discussion instead of multiple individual posts. Seems like this whole drop was a massive L between the people reportedly getting in early, skipping the line with cart checkout, the waiting line being on hold, no clue why they just don't print to demand. Yes, I do not know. I mean, they could be making so much money here, but they're doing artificial scarcity. I don't know if this is a place, but I really like to start an argument about the combination of artificial scarcity, mechanically unique cards, and secret layers. We argued about The Walking Dead, and Hasbro eventually backed down just to double down. We need to argue again a lot on every channel possible. 100% adding mechanically unique cards to a artificially limited secret lair is absolutely horseshit. This is the straw that broke my back. I will not buy magic products again. Proxy everything. Sold my four rings for $400 last month, which is the same amount of money that I spent to making a whole 450 card cube with high quality proxies. Oh, jeez. So I guess more and more people are going to do proxies, right? Interesting. Um, hmm. Because they, cannot, they cannot buy the card, so they're going to do proxies. This secret lair stressed me out so bad, I woke up early and had my commander pod over for support. We managed to get one as we had two computers going in line, but his should not have been a stressful endeavor to the point I was losing, but this should not have been a stressful endeavor. The point I was losing sleep, waking up early. It honestly feels abusive. Either Wizard of Coast analytics about how much they need to produce to match demand continues to be widely divorced from reality, or this went exactly like they wanted it to. Either way, F this Wizard of Coast print to demand. I think Mero even made a statement about how much they printed. He was like, yeah, well, it's a limited print run, but don't worry, we made so much. Edit, sorry, apparently it was Evan Forsett. They know exactly how unavailable this is going to be. This is all on purpose. What's the benefit of underprinting? Demand was already high. Any sane company would want to get close to possible to meeting demand and making the most profit they can from a release. Sadly, fear of missing out is an amazing sales method. I can't remember where I heard it, but apparently making a limited print run of a product versus print on demand can increase sales hundreds of percentage points because you get not only people who would get it either way trying to buy it you also get more impulse purchasers it's effing sucks but thanks to human psychology being counterintuitive if you make the right amount it will sell better as a limited product print to demand also means no scalpers and scalpers ensure that no matter how big the print run is all of it sells Still nowhere near the demand. Poor forecasting. This was a this was a bloody nightmare. 